Recent speculation states that the Xbox developer is primed into buying Metal Gear and the Silent Hill IP, as well as other notable key franchises. Welcome to another episode of Games Recap. I am Brandon Pham, and you can tweet at me about today's news at Blue Champs, or hit the subscribe button so that you can get your games recap for Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. So on to the news. Several rumors surrounding the future of Konami Silent Hill have been circulating. While previous speculation stated that developers like Sony would scoop up the series to develop the new games for PlayStation 5, a recent rumor claims that Microsoft was in the process of purchasing everything both the Silent Hill and other valuable Konami properties such as Castlevania and Metal Gear. This is insane. As only two weeks ago, there was speculation that there was a bidding war for the rights to Konami's classic horror franchise. Most people agreed that Sony won the battle, and I think preferably we would want Sony to develop these franchises. Multiple reports also named ex-Silent Hill's developer Kojima Productions as a potential contender to develop the series next Game. A leaker on Pacepin. I, I never really looked at Pacepin before this, but evidently they're a big deal. Stated that Microsoft had already finalized a sale of not only Silent Hill, but also all of Konami's franchises, including Metal Gear and Castlevania. The ominous message that started all this craze is as follows. Tonight, between 10 p.m. and midnight Eastern Time, Microsoft will finalize the purchase of the entire gaming catalog from Konami. The deal they've always been working towards is so expensive for Microsoft that it will single-handedly fund a new manufacturing facility Konami has been wanting to build to focus on new R&D for gambling devices. Microsoft will have to keep paying royalties back to Konami on all games that Konami originally released, including future remasters. Only new games made from the ground up will be fully profitable for Microsoft. Konami will also retain the rights to create new gambling hardware based on any previously adult M-rated theme game that they've released. In the deal, Microsoft will be able to select a team for potential layoff employees after the sale to help find a studio in Chow City. Konami will allow for the current Xbox Game Studios Tokyo as a satellite office for 12 to 18 months on the second floor of their current headquarters in Chow City, while Microsoft finalizes their plans to move to or construct their own studio space. The Pacement document also laid out other alleged terms like Microsoft's obligation to pay royalties on any remasters and Konami's right to build new gambling machines based on its properties. Microsoft will, however, be allowed to keep all profits from any new or original games and select potentially laid off employees in the development of a sale to form a new Japanese based studio in the first 12, 18 months of this deal. So I'm repeating a lot of the terms, but it's kind of good to kind of pepper that in and have it fresh in your mind. Konami apparently also is allowing a satellite studio called Xbox Games Tokyo because they are trying to build a presence in Japan. Phil Spencer, uh, the Microsoft head guy, has been wanting this, this thing to happen in Japan for a while and it, it kind of falls along with that in mind. This new information, however, is throwing everybody in a loop. As mentioned before, it was just two weeks ago that Konami had approved the go-ahead of a Silent Hill deal with Sony which would supposedly have seen two games, one a reboot and the other one a story-based spin-off produced exclusively for PlayStation 5. Even Hideo Kojima was tied into that, a former employee makers of the Metal Gear franchise. I shouldn't be even telling you guys this. Before the two severed ties, it was claimed to be involved in some capacity with Sony acting as a intermediary to help mend the fractured business relationship between Konami and Kojima. But with this new information, it sounds like Microsoft already purchased almost entirely Konami's gaming catalog. With the amount of money changing hands being so large that it'll single-handedly fund the opening of a new R&D facility for the latter. Konami's kind of like an open secret on the, the Yakuza. So their, their whole business, their whole, their whole funding comes from these gambling pinko machines. So it's no surprise there. Metal Gear Solid, Castlevania, and Silent Hill are specifically mentioned as being included in the transfer, with Konami receiving royalties for any of these games Microsoft chooses to re-release. 
for example, uh, remasters in the future. This was supposed to be a big announcement for E3 from the Microsoft camp, but because of the current pandemic, things are pushed. Time will only tell if any of this is really true. It does fall in line with Microsoft making some big moves lately, buying studios and acquiring big IPs for its next Xbox. And if you factor in the bad blood between Konami and Kojima, the pride in those Japanese blood will keep that relationship from ever being mended. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Does this have any chance of being true? Would you rather see the Konami IPs in the Microsoft or Sony camp? Or do you even care? You just want to see the Metal Gear franchise on the next systems.